Hello, Craig. This is Mike from U.S. Golf Schools. How are you doing, buddy? You know, obviously we have to get more technical with your swing. You're a lower handicap, if I remember correctly. Your swing is looking really good. But there are some issues you have on the backswing, or on the downswing, should I say. Your grip is really, really good. Your setup is very good. Shoulders are a little open, but I drew these lines to help you understand how to bump and turn because of the fact that on the downswing, you kind of hang back on it. So let's get started. Your grip looks really good. you got your V's pointing in the right direction. Remember, your left V, your right V pointing towards the right side of your face, right shoulder area. You're seeing two to three knuckles. you got a pretty strong grip. There's no great player in the world that has a weak grip. Some have neutral, some have strong. You're in a strong category. Therefore, you should be drawing the ball. Now, as you swing back, blade's a little closed down, but, you know, not a big deal unless you have an issue on hooking it. Um, I don't think that was your major issue. Um, if so, just try to get that toe to the sky a little bit more. If you are turning it over at this time, your toe's down a little bit. It's a little flat to the ground. Try to get that toe up. As you swing back, back swing, I would never change. You look great. Left knees to the ball, shoulders behind the ball. Um, club face a little open at the top, not bad, but in all in all, pretty good backswing. Now, this is the problem. As you swing down, your left hip turns away from the target. Remember, on a downswing, your lower body has to shift before it rotates. All you do is just rotate. So in the space of time, your hips are shifting and rotate, your shoulders catch up and you pull across it. Your hips have two things to do. Your shoulders have one. So your hips have to get over quickly to the left side because your shoulders, again, only have one thing to do. So I highly recommend shifting before you rotate. So you can get a little shaft right where I drew this line outside your left foot. Put a little shaft in the ground or a, you can go to any hardware store and get one of those straight poles all these kids have in their bags. Stick it outside your left foot. Bump that shaft before you turn around it. Now you want to bump it with your left hip then get your belt buckle turning against it. So at impact, you got most of your weight forward because if not, you're going to see your arms do this. Pull apart. Not bad because you're a better player, but they're pulling apart. In your league, they should be extended. So you want to get those hips shifting and then turning around that post. Now the only reason why I drew this circle for your hands is you'll see that on the follow-through your hands are a little bit flippy, a little flippy through the shot. And that's happening because your engine, your body is not working forward. It's not working towards the target side. And again, only because you turn before you shift. And if you only rotate on the downswing, you're going to have some issues on your follow through as far as weight shift. And your hands will play catch up. And they'll do what they have to do to get the club face square. Some will flip, some will rotate, some will whatever. In either case, it's not consistent. So exaggerate, shifting into that post. Put a little stick outside your left leg, shift into it, rotate around it, and then let your hands follow up your body. Because you, you can see you have really, really good release if your arms are extended. You're kind of hanging on to the club there a little bit. That's about it, Greg. Hope to see you again soon. Remember, if you, if you get a chance, go to www.yelp.com, that's Yelp, Y-E-L-P.com, and if you, have a, if, you, uh, if you had a great time, which I know you did, do a little write-up on me. I'd really appreciate that. Let's keep in touch. Hope to see you again soon. Greg, have a great day.